So whether you're actually confident on camera or not, and for the most of us, you're probably not because it's a pretty unnatural thing to turn on a camera, point it at yourself and start talking to this big one-eyed lens in front of you. There are, however, a few ways that we can fake this confidence and just give off the feeling that we're more chill and relaxed and comfortable with doing this whole talking to a camera by yourself in a bedroom thing. Later on, I wanna give you guys a little exercise as to something you can do to just actually create some of that confidence on camera. But before we get to that, I wanna start with one of my favorites and one I said recently, and that is to stop being so formal. Hey guys, I'm Sean. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I like to make videos and Today we are going to be talking about, I hope you're still watching. If I was you, I probably wouldn't be watching. If you are, I love you. But don't start your videos like that. There's certain formalities that creators think that they need to say just because other people are doing it and they feel that they need to do that same thing. We need to unlearn all of that training because this is not a job interview and we don't want to present ourselves like it is. Would you speak to one of your friends like that in real life? Imagine you were sitting across the room from them and you started just whipping out like formalities like that. Your friend would look at you like you're insane and you probably would be because no one acts like that in real life. What we want to try and establish here with the camera is to speak to it like it is one of our friends, like we're having a chat we're having a conversation and there's small nuances that play into that. Even something as simple as adjusting your hat that you might have noticed me do in the intro to this, that humanizes me. It makes me feel a little more casual because it's not this huge formal setting where I'm just like a robot, just chill. We're hanging out, we're talking, that's it. The other thing that kind of goes with this is that I think you shouldn't address the camera as you guys or everyone. I think you should address it as an individual because when the person is receiving the footage that you're gonna upload or present to them, it's only one person watching it. So as soon as I say, hey everyone, it's not everyone. For me, it's everyone. There's a whole lot of you behind this camera. But for you watching it, there's just one of you and there's one of me. It's a one-on-one -on -one intimate experience, so I think Try, I suck at doing it, by the way. I still always say you guys or everyone, but do your best to just speak in single person terms when you are addressing the camera. The next thing is to create your script in a bullet point format rather than like a word for word script. If you're trying to read like off your script like this, it often comes across as a bit robotic and it doesn't have the same flair as if you just kind of wing it and speak from what's actually inside of you, what you think. So create bullet points to ensure that you are staying on track for what you wanna convey in this video, but don't read it out word for word. Don't try and memorize it and then say it and then memorize it and then say it. Rather just, here's the topic, now let me speak about what I actually think about it. That works much, much better for me. Not only is it gonna be easier when you edit and you don't have to cut the whole time, you can just roll with like one long clip because you're just speaking. You don't, when you're speaking to a friend in real life, you don't have to stop and repeat and pause and think and redo, you're just flowing, you're just talking, you're just blah, blah, blah. It's easy like that. So bullet points, not word for word scripts. Let's talk energy. In my opinion, I think energy is loss when presented to camera. So if you rank yourself on a scale of like one to 10 of how energetic you're being, I think you lose about two points when it comes across, when it gets translated into video. So there is a certain element and as much as I'm saying be natural and be yourself, I do think you need to be just a little bit more energized than when you sitting around talking to your friends just to hold the attention of the viewer and keep it engaged. After all, this is a one-sided conversation. You guys aren't gonna be talking back to me unless you smashing down in the comments, but this is a one-sided conversation. And for that, I need to bring my energy levels up just a little bit. I personally hate the crazy amount of energy that a lot of YouTubers fall into where they're just shouting at camera and speaking way too fast. It's so annoying to me. Other people maybe like that and I don't have anything against people that do that to 
hold that retention. For me, I find it a lot better if I just stay calm and smooth, but I'm gonna be slightly more animated, energized and like, uplifting than I would be if I was just in normal life. Something else that would fall into this category is try and spend about a quarter of the time that you think you need to actually explain something. So condense all of those value points, get them across as fast as you can instead of dragging and drawing it out. That's a much better way to keep people's attention. I could explain this a lot more and more in depth, but I'm sure you get it, yes? Right, okay, so next thing. Let's talk power box, because when you're talking and presenting, a way to make yourself seem more charismatic is by using your hands to gesture things and everything like that. But you don't wanna be crazy where you're doing all sorts of gestures to get your point across. You kind of wanna stay in this little power window and just do small gestures. It's not something you really focus on, but it's something you should be aware of. And the more you kind of do it, the more you get into this flow where your hands are often just doing their own thing here. You don't really realize it. But if you're just sitting like this and your hands aren't doing anything, kind of takes away from the whole charismatic side and it doesn't make it as much one-on-one -on -one I'm talking to you guys. So use those hands, get them, get them swifty. Another way, and this isn't something that I'm very good at, but it's to speak through a smile. So if you are very serious and you're speaking like this, it also just plays into that formality aspect. If you kind of just fake a smile, just a little one, and it feels a little weird <laughs> when you start, but if you just have a little bit of a smile and you use that in conjunction with this power box and you're using those hands with a little bit of a smile on your face, it really does round off that online camera presence to just fake and give the illusion of yourself being much more comfortable and confident when you are speaking into camera. I think something really, really important is to be comfortable in your environment and your situation. Not only uh, in like my actual environment, I'm in this room, I'm comfortable here, there's no one around to hear me talk and be an idiot in front of camera, but also literally just get a little more comfortable, sit down, relax, like just be chill. If you, <clears throat> okay. Hey guys, I'm Sean and today, we, like, <laughs> I know that's dramatic, but just chill a little bit, hang out. Just, it's not a job interview, just relax. And getting to that final point that I wanted to mention to you and that exercise that I feel like is so helpful and something that I would highly recommend for anyone that wants to speak to camera, go and set up your camera somewhere you're comfortable, not out in the streets where there's people around watching you and judging you, looking like a weirdo. Sit somewhere comfortable, Turn on your camera and just just hang out with your weird one-eyed friend. You don't have to present anything hectic. You can tell it a story if you want. You can also just say nothing to it. You just hang out there. And like that uncomfortability of sitting in front of it and just like going head first into it fades away quicker than you would think. And all of a sudden you're just sitting there like, hmm, camera's not so scary after all. Maybe I can actually just talk and get my points across in a much more effective way to this this little guy over here. You don't even have to watch it back. Just record it, try to do it for 10 minutes. Just sit here, talk, hang out. And I know it's so weird, but it actually makes such a difference. And you don't have to watch it afterwards. You can just delete it if you want. You don't even have to watch it, but hit record and sit in front of there. People have such a weird thing where as soon as you hit record and then go in front of the camera, this thing clicks and it's like, oh, the camera's recording, uh, limited time, let me, let me like get my thing together, let me be the best version of my, how do I think I need to act now all of a sudden? And I think um, you need to unlearn that and the best way I've found to do that is to just revel in that uncomfortability of sitting in front of your camera while it's recording you. At the end of the day, just like most things, the real way that you're gonna become most comfortable in front of camera is with practice. The more you do it, the more you're gonna get used to it. I remember when I started out, I would hit record and I would have to redo the most simple basic sentence over and over again and I would be so uncomfortable, it was so cringy to watch. And just over time, you end up getting more comfortable in front of camera. For this video, 
I haven't really read a script at all. I've looked at my bullet points. I haven't redone a single sentence or take out of this whole video. I've just hung out and spoken to you guys. And I think this comes across as so much more intimate and authentic and just real, which is what people are craving on the internet these days, I think, because everything is so hyper edited and overboard these days. Again, in my opinion, whatever. So spend the time, the hours, and repeat the process of speaking to the camera. You 100% will become more and more comfortable being in front of talking to a little robot. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and these tips were useful. Have fun. Bye.